Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com, and today I'm testing out one of these cheap e-bike lifts from Amazon. I got this one on sale for about 13 bucks, though now I think it's back up to 19, but I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out if it works well and if you want to grab one of your own. But my goal here is to make a little bit more space in my office, because I keep my e-bikes here and my office is already pretty small. It's actually just a spare bedroom in my already small Tel Aviv apartment. So if I can make any more space here by taking some of my bikes and sticking them up on the ceiling, then that'll give me a little more room to work. Uh, if you guys have seen some of my other videos in here, basically it looks pretty clean because I take all the bikes and other crap out and stick it in the living room while I'm working. So I'd like to be able to just lift these up to the ceiling and be able to work down here with a little more space. We'll see if this can do it. So let's see if this kit actually works well or if it's just crap. All right, so let's take a look at what we get in the kit here. First off, we get about 50 feet of rope, which this is actually pretty nice, but it's not that uh, hard plastic or nylon rope that hurts your hands, so that's pretty nice. Next, we've got our pulleys. These are the ceiling mounted pulleys, I believe. And then these are the ones that go on the bike. And this looks like a cleat for the wall to tie off. And our mounting hardware. And that's it. All right, let's get to installing this thing. Okay, now, ideally, you'd be installing these into ceiling joists. The problem is the construction in these old Tel Aviv apartments is a bit different. Everything is concrete. And to be honest, the concrete, it's like a mixture of sand and wishful thinking. So I'm hoping this is gonna go well. There's five screws to hold these things up. The thing's rated for uh, 50 pounds, and I'm gonna be putting not more than 50 pounds on here. So theoretically, each of these screws only has to hold 10 pounds. I'm gonna be putting in anchors, and we'll see how this goes. But uh, ideally, you wanna try and find some nice ceiling joists to put this in. <laughs> All right, so next I can start installing the rope into this thing. All right, securely tie a double knot in the end of the cord and feed the cord through the hole in the end of the pulley unit that does not have the cord locking mechanism. Can do. Cool, the lock actually works. <laughs> All right, so now let's test this thing out. A, uh, a good tip in general before lifting an e-bike up on anything, whether it's a car lift or a ceiling lift, is just to take the battery off of it. So I've taken the battery off of this one already. And the saddle of this bike doesn't seem to fit these hooks real well, so I'm just gonna make a real quick loop of line around here. Remember my knots here. So I should be able to hook right onto that. There we go. All right, now let's see what happens. Eh, not bad. Let's see if I let go. Hey, the lock holds it. All right, and then if I want to release it, I'm supposed to pull back. Hey, overall that worked pretty good for $13. All right, let's lift it up and tie it in place. All right. 
I feel like I'm tying up a boat here. Man, they really give you a lot of extra line. All right, and there we go. It actually worked. Now I've got plenty of room. I can actually walk under here. Seems like famous last words, right? So that's pretty good. Now I can park more bikes underneath. What I might do is add a second one of these right next to it here. So I can get two of them up here, and then I can put another two down here. Those three bikes that I have are not the only three bikes that I have. I've got uh, more downstairs. I got locked outside. I've got at my mother-in-law's house. Um, I have a problem, don't ask. But this is great because for a pretty cheap bike lift, I can have a few bikes up here that you know are easy enough to take up and down. Um, and yeah, seems like a pretty good solution to me. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope that was helpful if you guys have been looking for a bike lift, uh, especially something that can support an e-bike. Last but not least, uh, it's time to announce the winner of the giveaway for my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... Lord Wilson Villa. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like, either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles, and just let me know where to send it, and anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment below, you can say anything you like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. For anyone that doesn't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, see you next time.